So today we want to talk about commitment CPR. And this isn't just to revitalize uh, your relationship. This is to really keep it on track and to go the distance. But this CPR is really going to have you uh, mindful and stay with what works to get the man that you deserve and desire on track and steady and committed. That's what this is all about. So before we get going, please like this video if you do and subscribe to my channel. It helps to keep me going. And when you like a video and or comment, it helps the algorithms in YouTube to promote this to other women who may benefit just like you do. So what is commitment CPR? It really is about your commitment to get him commitment using CPR. Now, many times people use this acronym for the same um, the same things I'm going to give you here, but just in different realms. Uh, you can use it in, for, for example, a, a business or if you have a fitness goal or something. So for example, what is C? The C is you must remain consistent. And the consistency is you have to commit to being consistent with making him wonder and consistent with not relating via verbalization but through action. These are the consistencies that are super important so that your man feels at peace, at ease. Interestingly enough, a knowing on his part and a trusting in his feelings. Yes, because when the man is wondering, he's actively loving. You know, I talk about that all the time. It's in my book. I want you to know that like you know your name. That in order for the man to be loving, he must be wondering. And these are in small ways. Sometimes they're in big. But most of the time, on a daily basis, it's in small ways. A daily basis in small ways. Uh, because things like with your texting and the way you relate, that's what I help women with in my program. Because the women, like you, are making a commitment to doing what works. And that is, of course, working with someone who keeps you on track. And when it's really important like this, when you found who you think is the love of your life, you want to make that kind of commitment of time and investment in what works. So let's get to the next, the P. You want to be persistent. Persistent is really, you know, like consistent. But you have to keep doing it. It's one thing to be consistently doing something, but if you don't remain persistent over time, you may give up right before you get the end result. Many times, and, and many philosophers and people talk about this, again, whether it's any goal, but particularly they talk about it in business or like an investment. You pull out too soon and the riches could have come the moment afterwards. So you have to be really careful about that. And the last one, CPR, you must remain resistant to the things that are out there that you read on Instagram, on Facebook, in the media, about that you can do and say anything you want. Be exactly who you are. You know, I have another uh, video about this. That, uh, the thing is, with romantic love, there is no such thing as unconditional. No, you have to remain uh, resistant to all the things that you're hearing out there that are just about getting your attention and are selling you something that is really of no value, that's going to hurt you with a man. And that is generally speaking, and of course I'm talking in gross generalizations, these things are that you can just do whatever the heck you want. He should accept you just the way you are. Well, here's something I believe, and unfortunately I think this is true, it's, it's not the best, but it is what it is, is that generally that's the way women love. In other words, 
many times you see all around and you may have been someone who does it I certainly have done it that you love someone no matter what he's doing or who he is or how he's behaving or what he's saying that's a very female trait that is not a male trait males don't generally just love no matter what and unconditionally and especially in romantic love now in familial love yes that's a different story. I'm talking about romantic love. So we have to remain persistent, resistant, right? And uh, we have to remain uh, in a fashion that allows the man to love somewhat through time. Again, all in uh, the, or I should say, under the umbrella of 80-20. So consistency persistence and then resistant to the things you are hearing that there's some inner knowing where you know uh, that just doesn't ring true to me and many times that's with experience and if you are listening to this you are say in your uh, I have women as young as late teens uh, listening to me Boy, are they ahead of their time. Uh, but generally, we don't get this kind of knowledge until we have had a wealth of experience. And so, if you, you can recognize a small little tweak of, there's truth in this, I should investigate this more, and you are in your 20s, you are ahead of the game. And certainly by your 30s and 40s and beyond, you are getting it and you are here because you already know. And this is what's good about growing older and getting experience because the experience is knowledge. So remember the CPR acronym for yourself. And remember, don't just relate out of your emotions. Think of CPR. Think, I've got to be consistent here. I can't step out of this consistency and give um, intermittent reinforcement on something that isn't working. Okay, that's that. I need to remain persistent. I will continue this through time. And if you're concerned about the amount of time, connect with me on that. You can connect with me many places. You can connect with me by talking to me on my podcast, MakeHimWonder.com. You can go to CoachPaulaGrooms.com and click on Programs. And we could be talking to see if we can work together to help you get the commitment that you desire to deserve from the man that you love. That's what I do, whether it's in my GPS program, the groom positioning system, or my lure him in program. That's when things have gone awry. And you really need to do something that works like a charm. To It gets to the heart of men. And if he loves you, and if there's a chance, it does work. It's happened for me with my wonderful clients so many times. I want that to be for every woman. Women are love in the world. You are here because you know you have so much love to give and you want to receive it from a man that you desire and one that you deserve who will treat you right. So until next time, don't forget, use the CPR acronym to get you what it is you desire and deserve, and we will talk again next time. I trust you got a lot of good information from today's video, and I enjoy bringing you content that is valuable for success in your romantic life. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want more on any of the content you see here, you can go to my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. You can order it at any fine retailer where you get your books. And if you want more on me or any of my programs, my podcast, go to coachpaulagrooms.com and we could be talking soon.